Hello everyone, this is Science Learner Book for Grade 3. Let's start uh, Unit 4, Lesson 4.2, Animal Grouping and Different Life uh, Cycle. So here, what is the first question? You can see here, what is happening in this uh, picture? We can see here a turtle is hatching from the egg. So we can see in this picture, a turtle is uh, hatching. What will happen uh, next in the life uh, on this animal? So what about the next stage? The next stage uh, for this animal is that it will begin to grow and uh, into, change into adult. There are some vocabulary words, uh, amphibian, baby, caterpillar, cold, blooded, hatch, life cycle, mammal, reptile, tadpole, and worm, blooded. The third portion, third question, which body parts? Can you see on these animals? We can see uh, the animal for a turtle, uh, the body part uh, for a turtle, uh, like uh, turtle shell, head, and uh, we can see the mouth, eyes, skin, and on so on. Let's move uh, page number one zero two. Scientists put animals into group. Animals have many body parts. Some are similar, like eyes, mouth, and some are quite different, like uh, their horn, their claws. Some animals are warm-blooded. How they are warm-blooded? Because their body make heat inside, even human. Others are cold-blooded. Why? Because their bodies are the same temperature as the as their environment around them. So scientists put animal into group. Here are six of the groups uh, that scientists use. The, the, the first one, uh, mammals. Warm-blooded animal, their body uh, is covered with hair and they have babies. Not hatching eggs, they have babies. Uh, second one, reptiles. Uh, they are cold-blooded and they have on their body their skin scales and also like snack also and they lay egg. Also fish, they are cold-blooded, uh, their skin and they have gills, scales on their body, live in water, and also they lay eggs. So reptiles are mostly uh, cold-blooded animal. They are laying egg. Bird, different birds, warm-blooded, they have feather and lay eggs. Insects, uh, their body mostly uh, in three parts, and uh, they have six legs, and they also laying egg. After this, the third one, amphibian. Amphibian lives uh, on land and uh, also in water, like uh, you can see frog. Uh, Cold-blooded, and they are also laying eggs. So there are some questions. Look at the animals shown the table. Point to their different body parts. So we can say their fins, their beaks, their legs, their tails, their skins, feathers, and their eyes. You can see like this your body part. Legs, feathers, eyes, skin, tails, different things. So think, uh, you can write it here better. Such as. Their fins, eyes, beaks for bird, their legs, tails, skin. And uh, be there. Skin of horse. Uh, second part. Think of another animal for each group. Uh, you can say, for example, frog, uh, toad, and salamander. So write any two or three and other examples.
This is the second. For example, amphibians for dog or salamander. Uh, number three, in which group uh, would you put humans? Humans are warm blooded. So, I mean, belong to the mammals group and they have babies, not eggs. So, there we are putting humans in mammals group. Activities, uh, one activity, six groups of animals. You will need uh, slips of paper or sticky notes, pen. Work with a friend, make six animal group uh, card like this. On 10 uh, bits of paper, write 10 names of different animals, including at least one mammal. One reptile, one fish, one bird, and, uh, and one insect. And in PBN, uh, take turn to place each name with the correct animal group card. Now join with others uh, in your class and add their uh, animals to your groups. Some animals may be hard, uh, harder to group, so you will need uh, to think and take talk about them. It may help to look uh, in the group. So you can find different animals. Mostly you can find amphibian and uh, Reptiles, mammals, as we wrote it above. After this, adult animals and their youngs, their babies. Page number 104. All youngs animals start lives uh, smaller than the adults. Some look like their parents. Like you can see mostly the, the, the parent, the Children mostly like parents, like their hands, their eyes, mostly. So uh, these polar bears are mammals. And human also include in the group of mammals. How, question number four, how is the baby bear similar uh, to the adult? So you can see the baby bear or the, their baby cup has similar hair, their legs, their eyes, ear, nose, and etc. to the to the adult beer. So we can write here. This is just example one example. You can see mostly the animal as their parents. So the baby beer like a beer. If we write for baby beer, it's name cups, so it's better. It has similar hair, eyes, nose, ears. legs, etc. to the adult beer like their uh, parent. So do you uh, 
do you do they both have the same body parts obviously yes obviously yes they have the, the same body part so we can write yes they both have the same body parts no? some some young animals look different to their parent look at uh, this insect can you see the young butterfly we call a caterpillar and the adult butterfly you can see here yeah at the beginning stage they are uh, uh, they are uh, in different process okay uh, the larva then caterpillar from after different stage it's uh, change into other uh, butterfly so it's a caterpillar and then change into at the end butterfly so it's not like uh, look like uh, the same so look at the, these insects can you see the young butterfly and we we call a caterpillar and the adult butterfly there is adult butterfly and the young one caterpillar so these are the life stages okay and third stage is uh, like in the change into a caterpillar Okay, uh, question number six. How is the caterpillar different uh, uh, to the adult caterpillar? So uh, you can see here the adult caterpillar, their legs, you can see the it has a few, few legs as compared to the uh, small one or the, uh, uh, the adult butterfly as compared to the caterpillar. They are and uh, less legs the, the adult one they ha it has uh, more and the young one there are a lot of so you can write it uh, the adult caterpillar adult uh, butterfly not uh, caterpillar sorry the adult uh, has uh, fewer legs than the Caterpillar. And also we can write, uh, you can see here it has a three body part and have wings and so on. It's enough, the adult uh, has fewer legs than the caterpillar. Now we start uh, about talking the life cycle as human and animal. So all of these th things, they have life cycle, animals or human, even plants. So life cycle, all animals grow, all living things, they have life cycle. All, all animals grow through different parts of their life, different stages of their life. The body of the animal changes. Animals always start life as an egg or a baby when they are adult animal can make new eggs or baby these changes happens one after another changes happen from uh, the start of the animal's life and go on until the end of its life so we call this the animal's life cycle look at uh, the life cycle of the chicken from eggs to adult we can uh, follow the arrows from uh, chain to chain so starting from the egg then from the egg it has and come a chick and after some time it's changed into adult and then again it's a uh, adult after this egg and then chick okay so this is the life cycle for a chicken okay after this each life cycle uh, diagram is uh, a model which help us to learn so same like uh, the human starting from baby then toddler then child and uh, teenager and then adult and then again start to happen again and again again and again so how does the chickens baby change you from chick to adult so you can see uh, their feather gets longer get bigger their color feathers change color and grow longer and the tail grow a red part uh, grow on the top of the head and here you can see okay after this <clears throat> and also 
uh, under the beak, also this one. Let's change, get longer. Okay, when chick changes from chick to adult. Let us write it. The feather change color and grow. Longer. Mm, you can also take the tail grow. And uh, also, you can see the red part mm, grow on the top of the head, and so on. Then the chick the chicken change from chick to adult as a children as a child you have changed since uh, you were a baby now you are at, at which stage a teenager no you are at this stage at the third stage so the life cycle of a human include these five stages so you are uh, on the stage of the third one after this uh, you'll change teenager and then adult so these are the human life cycle life cycle of a frog activity two changes as will grow you will need a picture of a baby a, a female child a male adult and uh, and and elderly woman paper and pen look at the picture of a human life cycle Talk about the differences between a baby and a child. Think about size here, teeth, and other thing. So, so uh, the life cycle of a frog in a human, the body looks uh, similar to the adult. Uh, the young of frogs look very different to their adults. So obviously, you can see it's different. these are the different stages for the adult frog, even they're young. Okay, so frogs lay eggs when uh, which hatched into tadpole. And then young tadpole have a baby and a tail, sorry, and a, a body and a tail. Okay, you can see. Uh, the tadpole slowly grow legs and lost their tails. They, began to took uh, to look like small frogs and we call this frog legs so these are the different uh, stages starting from the eggs and then a uh, tadpole without legs these are the tadpoles and then slowly slowly uh, their legs coming and then this tadpole with legs and then uh, change into frog legs and then at the end change into frog so at all frog you can see is there any tail no so these are the five uh, life stages for for a frog. Draw the life cycle, drawing the life cycle of a frog. So look at the picture which show how a frog changes from uh, egg to a tadpole and then to tadpole to frog. Draw a picture and use arrow to draw the life cycle of the frog. It's similar like this. So you can make it on a paper. Think like a scientist, uh, height increased, increases uh, from body baby to child. As uh, each human grows, uh, their height changes. Look at this graph of the child height, each birthday from birth to 10 years old. Now you're uh, the grade three student, mostly at the age of 10 or 11. So you can see here, starting from their height in centimeter 65 or 75 yeah so and then after two years three years four years five six seven eight nine ten so every year you can see there is a little bit change in your height now here 75 then 19 15 or 20 uh, 15 or 10 like this uh, your height increasing 
and as you're going up it's a uh, five change into five uh, from 45 to 50 uh, from nine to ten years so it's until the age of 18 your height it's uh, increasing per year little bit but uh, at the at the beginning at three or four at uh, two three four you can see it's uh, the height rate it's uh, 10 centimeter and uh, from when you're a baby it's a uh, five and then from 80 to 90 then 90 to 100 100 to 110 so as uh, the time period is uh, three four five so your height increasing uh, until the age of 18. There are some questions. What was the a? Uh, what was the child's height at two years old? You can see and find uh, from the uh, from the chart. So the child in the child uh, height at two years old was uh, so it's two years old, ninety. So you can write here ninety. So at the age of uh, two years old. The child height, it's a uh, ninety centimeter. So right here, ninety centimeter. Uh, from age one to two years, how much did the children and the child height increase? It was more uh, fifteen or ten centimeter. We can write here fifteen centimeter. Uh, from age nine to ten years. How much did the child's height increase? Then it's uh, uh, five or four centimeter normally. So we can write here five centimeter. Uh, why might a doctor or a parent might be increased, uh, uh, might be pleased to, to see this uh, graph? Why might a doctor or a parent might be? Please to see this uh, graph. What is the reason? Actually, uh, the doctor or parent, you can say um, to see this because the child is uh, growing well. So they need to see this paragraph and they're pleased. So you can write here because Because the child is uh, growth well at these uh, in the graph you can see it's uh, uh, their height is increasing per year after this uh, life cycle diagram helps us to see changes over time. How do these diagrams help uh, you to learn about science? Learn it as uh, the time period at each birthday. You can see your height a little bit increase, like your height as your body part. Other your body part, you can feel its change. You can feel changing in your body after one one year. So what you have learned in this lesson, I can recognize the difference between body parts, different groups of animals. I can describe and compare the different life cycle of different animals and so on. I can use information source to research and answer questions like this uh, unit uh, for unit four lesson four point to finish. Next video will uh, uh, start the next lesson.